Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica with the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we have some Bacuccio. Let's do this. <clears throat> so, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this because you guys have heard me rave over and over again about how much I love the word Bacuccio, but also more importantly, how much I love the product ingredient Bacuccio. This is our brand spanking new ah, Farmer X Bacuccio cream. So yes, we have finally, finally, finally came out with a Bacuccio cream because we last year we came out with the Bacuccio eye cream as well as the Farmer X Bacuccio serum. All products that I insanely love and it feels so good on my face. I've used a multivitamin cream from the Farmer X line as well as the Super Greens, but now I get a new moisturizer which came just in time because I ran off all of my belief stuff and that is the Farmer X Bacuccio cream. So what is Bacuccio? The most important thing is the main ingredient, right? So the main ingredient is the Bacuccio and Bacuccio is a gentle plant-based alternative to retinol. What I love about it, it doesn't increase photosensitivity so you can use it during the day because a lot of retinol-based products you should only use it at night because it can make you more sensitive to the sun, burn easier, etc. The other thing is we're now approaching spring. Yay! And because we're approaching spring, that means that we're gonna spend more time outside so I can be a little less stressed out. I'm still gonna wear my SPF. I wear my SPF every single day, but I could be a little bit less stressed out about burning my face or um, increased focus sensitivity to the sun when we're outside in the spring and in the summer. Bakucho, the ingredient, is also a natural wrinkle fighter as well as it helps with discoloration and fine lines, so, and all without the irritation of like regular your traditional retinol products so that is great i do have some demarcation from like some some like uh, pigment hyperpigmentation from some beautiful acne pimples that i've been experiencing i'm back on my medication now uh for <laughs> for my infect my my hair follicle infection so my skin is drier I've, i noticed that whenever i'm on this particular antibiotic my skin is drier so this is definitely needed. Now this one here, it's supposed to help reduce the look of wrinkles and visibly improve your firmness and elasticity in about two weeks time. So should we do a two weeks update? Yeah, let's do it. It also helps to promote a youthful appearance and moisturizes dry skin. All great things that I need right now. It is formulated with Bacuccio and Botanical Extract Blend. And so all you do is you just apply it to a clean face and it's that easy, my friends. It is vegan, hyperallergenic, and it's also dermatologist tested. It's also suitable for sensitive skin. All great things. So the other thing about this is that it's also formulated with 85% natural ingredients. It is also cruelty free and it's free from parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, sulfates, artificial dyes, and artificial fragrances. So what you smell is all natural. Oh, natural. I will keep using my toner and also my ampule. So I'm not changing up any other elements of my skincare regimen. The only thing I'm adding is this. I'm replacing my moisturizer with this particular product because <laughs> I also ran out of my other moisturizer. So you can use this one day and night. So I will be using it with my SPF during the day and at nighttime, I just use that as. I will probably still mask twice a week. Right now has been what I've been doing uh, because like I said, my skin has been dry and I don't want to take that away. So I'm not adding any other element to my skincare routine. I'm just not changing anything else except for this. That's my disclaimer. The marketing for this, guys, is so beautiful. I mean, I'm in love with the Campaign 7 cover. And look at this box. Like, even the box is just so pretty. The beige and the purple. Ugh, love it. There's disclaimers everywhere. So you can actually have a heyday just reading the box. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. Right? Like I said, 85% natural. It's cruelty-free. It's vegan. It's free from certain products. It is also recyclable packaging so it is really great that we are moving towards you know more sustainable packaging environmentally product environmentally friendly products vegan products cruelty free products i really do enjoy that so let's open that up oh how pretty hello this is made in korea 
It is in total 90 milliliters, so it is quite large. So when you look at the price point of things, because I mean, I've had customers who were considering it, but like, oh, you know, the price point is higher than my other skincare products. Well, it's because it's also larger. When you're calculating prices like that, guys, in addition to looking at the value of the ingredients and also other elements of it, like, you know, the environmentally friendly packaging and all of those things, you also want to look at per milliliter how much it's going to cost. So you want to make sure you do factor in all of those elements as well when you're making your purchase decision. I just buy it because I, I know I love Bacuchio. So let's open this up. Okay, so it has a little thing at the top. Creamy, beautiful, shiny lid. <laughs> but here's the actual one itself. So it's filled to the brim. Oh, it smells so lovely. It smells like spring. And it's not like perfumey, which is what I like because I don't like anything on my face that has too strong of a scent. I like really uber light products scent wise on my face but simply because I ha also have a scent sensitivity and I don't want to be sneezing all day. Uh, and so I really love the scent of this. It pairs so nicely with the other Cucho products, like even the eye cream here. This eye cream, it smells a little earthier than the face cream. The face cream has a really beautiful springy floral type scent. And then this is the serum. Ugh. The serum I find, I actually find it really light. But it does, it, it has like the same elements. So I'm going to apply to half my face first to see how it feels. It's been, it's been a minute since I've washed my face because of the fact that I filmed another video prior to this. So I've been trying for a while. So what I'm going to do is on my face already, I've already washed my face. I did an exfoliation as well as I've already used my toner and I've used my ampule plus I have used my eye cream. So the eye cream, I am doing a test on this for two weeks. So I will not be using my Bacuchio eye cream for this two week period while I'm using the Bacuchio face cream. Probably a little bit poor planning on my end, but I'm trying to maximize time to so look for update videos on that. So let's just do a quick product swatch here, like texture for it. It's not insanely thick. After you rub it in, you smell a little bit more of that slight woody feeling that you get from the eye cream. And I feel like a little bit's gonna go a long way for this. So let's try it on my face. I wanna do half my face first, right? So I can feel the difference of the texture. I'm gonna massage it in. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead too. I just like to massage it in. I mean, you can pat. I sometimes, what I do sometimes is I pat it in at the end. It feels really nice on. It feels, feels a little thicker than what I've been using lately, but I think a lot of it is because I've been using the Dr. Um, I've been using the Belief products, which tend to be very, very light. I'm gonna go into my neck because it's always important to moisturize your neck. And then also I go all the way to behind my ear. It's just a lightly pat. I don't know how I, this is called lightly patting. <laughs> It leaves your skin really, really, really dewy. I'm also going to try it with uh, under makeup application too to see how it works for that. It definitely feels moisturized. It's like super moisturizing. Naked-ish skin. First application. So you see that I'm starting to develop like lines up here. I mean, it's also really natural. Comes with age, which is okay. So let's see what happens in two weeks. Stay tuned for that, guys. I'm just gonna finish up the other side and then I'm gonna do my makeup and see how well this cream performs underneath makeup. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So I just completed my makeup after applying the Bacuccio cream on my face. Because of how dewy it was, I was a little bit concerned about how the powder would lay, but everything looks pretty good, like pretty good. There's no creasing, everything. It wasn't harder to put anything on. I did end up using Magic's tint, but it's actually called the Match Tint now, I think, because uh, it just did the whole rebranding. But I used that and I also used my uh, cashmere complexion powder. I did use a powder, powder blush. I did use a powdered brush. Everything laid on fine. It was completely fine. My skin still feels actually really dewy, like especially around here. 
it still feels really dewy. Nothing is slipping, nothing is creasing. So happy hunky dory about that. Yeah. So that's that. So stay tuned for a two week update video on this. You'll probably see it a little bit longer than two weeks, but just stay tuned. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, guys. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.